In a major setback to the embattled Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli, the Supreme Court of Nepal has reinstated the functioning of the lower house of Nepal Parliament, which Oli had dissolved in December. The court termed his decision unconstitutional and asked members to resume parliament in 13 days. Pictures expressing gratification and celebration emerged in the Himalayan nation as soon as the Supreme Court hearing over a dozen petitions challenging the dissolution of parliament ruled against the Prime Minister K.P. Sharma Oli. Activists and commoners mured vermilion and lit candles on streets after the apex court ruled Oli's move unconstitutional and ordered the winter session of the parliament to be convened in the next 13 days. Although a large section of Nepali citizens feels vindicated by the ruling, the embattled Prime Minister is not appearing to be going down easily. His aide has hinted that he will be battling it out in the parliament. While the current combinations and inclinations don't give him much hope, some observers haven't ruled out the unexpected, considering the inconsistent past of Nepal politics. Of the 275 members in the lower house, Nepal Communist Party has 173. As per various reports, Oli has support of nearly 80 MPs, while the Dahal faction has a support of around 90 MPs. Nepali Congress and Janta Samajbadi Party have 63 and 32 members respectively. They are likely to support the Dahal faction, but any changes at the 11th hour can further deepen and prolong the crisis. <laughs> However, with the kind of support the decision has garnered across Nepal, it would be nearly impossible for the opposing parties to express confidence in Oli's leadership. People have already hailed it as the country's victory. The vote of confidence too is not going to be an easy task as the NCP will have to split legally in order to conduct voting in the manner it wants. And it might take weeks to reach that decision. Commentators predict that political temperatures are just beginning to rise and the Nepal politics could witness several moments of heat and intensity before the crisis really ends. They have also cautioned the media to be restrained in its predictions for nobody knows who their Prime Minister is going to be in just weeks from now.